day 176 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on here at Code Wars, and we are on the hunt for a new Kata to continue making progress through the seven. All right, we've got we've got seven. We've got most completed, and loading, 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 fundamentals. Cool. All right, we are going to be tackling uh, the Jaden casing strings. We saw this what, just another day or two ago when we had very limited time to stream. We ended up foregoing this and doing something much quicker, much simpler, and still barely finish that one in time. So now we get to now we get to tackle this one here. Uh it does have JavaScript listed, so we are in the clear. Alright. From the top, Jaden Smith, the son of Will Smith, is the star of such films as The Karate Kid, 2010, and After Earth, 2013. Jaden is also known for some of his philosophy that he delivers via Twitter. When writing on Twitter, he is known for almost always capitalizing every word. Your task is to convert strings to how they would be written by Jaden Smith. The strings are actual quotes from Jaden. Uh, the yes, the strings are actual quotes from Jaden Smith, but they are not capitalized in the same way he originally typed them. Example: not Jaden Smith case. Only how is capitalized, and then everything else in the sentence is all lowercase. Can mirrors be real if your eyes aren't real? And Jaden cased capital how capital can the first letters only, of course. Little kitty, you are blocking the rest of his beautiful quote. What are you hunting for? Why are you stalking? What? Are, there's nothing here. That's a friggin' lamp. It's not gonna go anywhere. There's no need to stalk a lamp. What are we looking at? How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, so let's once more, just for fun, we will go to Mr. Smith's, if you will. His Twitter page. Tons of fun, tons of fun, and we're scrolling, and we're scrolling, and things are happening. Beautiful. Every word's first letter is capitalized. Fantastic. Okay, so we're closing out of that, and let's go ahead and dive into said nightmare. Little kitty, what are you doing? You are not going to nap on the keyboard again. No, no, no. Day 176. Everyone's sick of your shit. No, you, no, 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 no. You're an abomination. You're a furry, adorable. Will you stop thwapping things with your tail? Oh my god, oh my god. Let's, let's, uh, how do we want to deal with this? <sighs> you are getting fur everywhere. No, 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 those are the good headphones. The shurs are not meant for kittens. Can you... There you go. There you go. Please move your tail. Oh my god, she is so stressful. Um, There we go. That's as good as we're gonna get. Let's do a quick double check on... on all... all systems. All systems go. Uh, Mike? Yeah, yeah, we got, we got, the mic is live. Oh, uh, and you're moving again. Typical furry goddamn son of a quadrupedal nightmare. Uh, we've got the webcam. The light is on, which is why it's flickering, shadowy, and not shadowy. And Code Wars in the chat. We are set. So, we've been gifted our task. String dot prototype. Interesting. String dot prototype dot to Jaden case equals function takes a parameter. 
I'm assuming the parameter is said string, right? I can't imagine what else it would be. Yeah, variable string. Hmm. But this is empty. Maybe it ties back to it? Variable string equals how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Test dot assert equals string dot to Jaden case. Blankety blankety blank. You know what? I think this is very similar to yesterday's. It it is because we're splitting it we're we're splitting oh hey Topher right at the right at the beginning of this nightmare. Good timing. Uh so anyways, mid mid train of thought. It seems like this would be very similar to yesterday's lesson, how we were going through, instead of numbers that we were ripping apart, dealing with, putting it back together, the split, a weird constructor was mentioning, and as we saw in the examples, if we uh, set the split to be this with a space, we can take this string and turn it into an array and then we can break up each word at the spacing. My issue from there is that we'd need to take it a step further and reprocess each, each letter. It's almost like we'd have to do that same thing twice. You know what I mean? So, God, maybe, maybe we do just do everything twice, but instead of... Hmm. You know, I really should be saving all of these formulas. Like a cool little notepad or a thingamabob. I guess I could just Google it, but maybe is there an easy way to see? Open the link in new tab. The ones I've completed, because really I'd like to just source yesterday's and do it twice. Collections, Stephen, my profile, home, forms, doc, uh, view profile. I know they have a completed section to see the ones that I've done. You know what? Maybe that's what we want. Newest. No. Approved, beta, progress, all. Kata, I have completed. There we go. And something about some. Wow, have I really done that many Katas? I feel like I just started only a couple days ago. Is the integer safe to use? Why don't I remember the one I did yesterday? Opposite number? No, that's an eight. I cannot remember what the hell I did for the life of me. Descending order. That's what it was. Topher. Split string into an array of words, then capitalize the first character of each word in the array. Fully join the array into a new string and return the string. So I don't need to loop through everything twice. That was my concern. That's why I was tracking my way back here. Because I thought I was going to have to pipe everything through the same thing again. But I guess not. My issue is the, the capitalizing the first letter of each each thing. So one, two, three, and four. This is very similar to what we did yesterday. Copy. And just for some visualization uh, into my 
confusion nonsense. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. See, all that noise, and, and somehow in my insanity, I it felt like something like this would be done. Kind of excessive. But this, instead of joining or to string, I wish there was like something that was like capitalized I or some some terribly stupid thing that looks like this. I think that's a bit overkill. I guess I could do it in one string again. Cap capital. That's not how we spell capitalize at all. What time is it? It's only 1130. I don't know why I can't spell right now. Not important. I don't think I need to loop through it twice. But that's where I'm at. That's how I'm seeing it in my head. I don't think that's necessary. So, let's take... Let's get rid of nonsense. We can go ahead and keep the string. And we'll do a single line of nonsense just to organize the flow we'll use Topher's handy summary as a guide split to Jaden case string must be the parameter as a side note general question why is the function having an empty parameter here. Does it not like string? Or it's use oh it's it's using string dot to case. And this is tying it all together. Is this string the same as this string? No, it's not. This string Prototype is doing something else. String is saying all of this is a string. I get that much. So this is saying all of this is a string. Prototype is tying stuff together. To Jaden case is the actual function that will be performed. And the str string here is referencing the string itself. As if this noise were here. I think I can see it all. Uh, you don't technically need a loop at all, but you could solve this with a loop. Okay, I'm going to try to do a loop-free solution. Not not so loopy. Less, less loopage. Um, but anyways, just to, to type things out. So in my mind, I would do string similar to what they'd be calling in the test cases. So string dot, and I'm sure it'd be return or some stupid thing like that. Uh, not rerun. We're missing the rest of the peanuts, gang. Can't have rerun if you're going to have a, not have everyone else. Return. String split. So dot split. with parentheses in general. This is a rough overview as I kind of think through this. Uh, split string into an array. So that rips it apart. Quotes with a space. So it's breaking each word apart with the split and the space. Yes. And then we will capitalize See the capitalized thing. Oh, oh, there's uh, 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 the thing. We had multiple lessons about this at Code Academy. Oh, I'm just drawing a blank on the cool way to do it, but it's it's going to be something very similar to like dot upper or dot uppercase. Maybe it's just dot upper. Fingers crossed, it's dot upper. 
We're not with three peas. Up, 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 er. Either way. Uh, and then and then some more stuff. So maybe dot upper. Uh, Fletcher King. I see a foot. Yes, yes. That that is a foot. That is my fiance's foot. It is a very good foot, and uh, it's just it's doing its thing. The person it is attached to is currently playing Sims. So if that if that helps anyone deal with the foot, that's what's happening. Uh, yeah, good. What are we doing? We got sidetracked with with the foot defeat boss defeat. <laughs> Something about capitalizing. So upper and I eventually, and then we need to join everything. Each word of the array and then join. Join into a new string. Dot join. Dot join. And I guess join on the spaces. Ugh. That's going to be hard to figure out. I'm not sure how I'm turning all of this back into a string. I guess dot dot to string. Dot to string. Ta-da. B -d 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 -d. Roughly something like that. Uh, Fletcher King. Thought it was Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Good times. I was we were we were just watching The Hobbit earlier. Now we need to figure out the capitalization issue. That's that's where I'm at a loss. So Java script capitalize. Wow, I no, I'm just uppercase. It's upper and lowercase. Uppercase. Result upper and lower at Code Academy. Two dot two uppercase. There we go. Two local uppercase. Hmm. Well, we'll check the first four like normal. So we got W three schools, MDN, MDN with local uppercase instead of local and oh how to make the first letter of a string uppercase blah that seems very fitting string resolution uppercase all of it goes capital well, at least we have the two uppercase. That's really what we're looking for. So dot two uppercase, very similar to this. Exactly what we need. Empty parentheses. Take note of the empty parentheses, Stephen. Noted. Okay, okay. Local. Local. So, or locale. The lo local parameter indicates the locale to be used to convert to uppercase according to any locale-specific casing maps. If locales are given in an array, the best locale is used. That kind of seems like what we want. The toLocaleCase method returns the value of the string converted to uppercase according to any locale-specific case mappings. Like, if I drop in a zero, will that be good? Two locale zero. No. No, that's... That's dumb. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely a dumb idea. Okay, so... 
array, something about array. And something else. Well, we have a lot to try. That's two of the same tab. Fruits, and we're logging, and for each, and removing the front of an array. Updating the item. Find the index of an item. No. Copying? Nothing. So close. Lastly. Oh, how do I make... Okay. I don't know why that didn't register before. How to make the first letter of a string uppercase, which is basically what we want. But that's the first letter of a string. We need it for each string. Each string. This looks long. String zero to uppercase. String that substrate. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, yeah, Topher, Topher is right. Keep it simple. Two uppercase. All right, okay. So, two uppercase. Two uppercase. I really want to put like a zero in there, if I could, to indicate like zero index, but I, I don't think it works that way. Because right now I think it's going to capitalize every word I put in, and I, I want to have... I don't need to put a for loop in that one specific part. Maybe I do a zero. Let's see what we have. Let's see how this goes. Let's get rid of this. Um, I don't think I need all of that noise anymore. I think we've got the ball rolling. Clear that and all that noise. Return is banished. We are pasting. Shot in the dark. Let's, let's get crazy with this. Run sample test. Super pissed at us. Cool, cool. And just because I'm curious, zero. Also frustrated. I think a different error, maybe. Reference error, string not defined. At string to Jaden. So maybe we set up variable string is m. That also seems vaguely odd. It cured the white problem and turned it blue. String split to uppercase is not a function. All right, all right, we're running into issues. Uh, keep it simple, each string will be in the for loop when you iterate through the spaces. Do a for loop if you're more confident, but you could also use map. Each string will be in the for loop because that's, that's what it's going for here. We're splitting on the space, and in each space, it breaks it. Maybe I've confused it with the join. I don't think I'm using the uppercase properly. We'll finish out this nightmare. How do I make the first letter string uppercase, but not change the case of any of the other letters? This is a test. This is a test. Bastards. We'll see what they have to say, though. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Index. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. I think there might be answers. Accepted. Something about it. SO for three years, plugin, great tools, noise, return string dot replace. Wow, there's a lot of slashy stuff. I know this guy. This guy is global and, oh, frack. Ignore, global and ignore, I think. M2 uppercase, which is empty. 
simpler version, string zero to uppercase, and we're concatenating string dot substring one. Capitalize first letter. String character at zero. Oh, character at zero to uppercase. And then string slice one. Hmm. I kind of want to try the character at zero thing. Let's try that. And then, and then we can laugh at my struggles. Kaboom! All right, so what's going down in chat? Split the string by spaces into an array. Then iterate through the... Uh, through... Oh, wait. Then iterate through the array with a for loop. Then give each string in the for loop an uppercase beginning letter. Split should be on its own line. Oh. When you split the string, it becomes an array. You can't use the two uppercase on an array. It doesn't work like that. You have to iterate through. Okay. Okay. Clever. Clever. See, uh, I don't know if everyone was here. Oh, yeah. Here. It was this. This was yesterday's solution to yesterday's Kata kind of irrelevant. The details somewhat similar. See, I was taking all this noise, these numbers, before, and then uh, I had to split up whatever random order the numbers were in, split it up into an array, sort it, and then reverse it from the highest number down to the lowest consecutively. So it seemed very similar to today's issue, where we are taking the words of Sir Jaden Smith and kind of breaking it up, splitting, splitting it up, and then focusing on each little one. That's what seemed different was the focus thing. So I, I do think a for loop is definitely needed, and it sounds like it. Sounds like that can't be. Uh, and, and again, the reason for why I had it on the same line is because my, uh, my capacity to remain confused is infinite. And it's loading, and it's loading. See, see, yesterday's solution was all in the same line. That's what was going on. So I was trying to do very similar things to yesterday's because it seemed like a similar problem. But that's not the case. So let's do, let's break that up, a variable string. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to leave it commented out for now. That'll make me feel better. So, return string split. Maybe I just split the string. Maybe I don't even need to return it. I don't even think I need to return it. If I just split the string, from there, for loop, for... Oh, wow, what's happening in chat now? Uh, split should be okay when you do that. doesn't work like that. You have to iterate. Split returns. Oh, split returns a value in place. Oh, wait. Split returns a value in place. You can't further manipulate it in the same line of code. Okay, good. It can be on the same line. Oh, when using to uppercase. How so? Fletcher summed it up in their comment. Back to Fletcher... Well, that was the same. Okay, we're all mostly on the same same page, same boat. Four. Oh, God. Oh, God. I. I what? I equals, that's a minus, equals zero. Our friend semicolon is I less than string again. We're really, there's a lot of white stringing issues. We're going to need to identify this guy. So, a generic string, I guess. For I string length, if you will. I, plus, plus. There we go. 
There we go. Just like we've been practicing for the last 176 days. Nothing too new. So here, I think... Oh, I forgot to give Split its things. I was like, what are these doing down here? Yeah, that's, that's why. Full of wrong. That's what you're doing. Doing wrong stuff. Oh, maybe, maybe, hold on. Maybe the variable string should equal the split string. No? Is that weird? Does that make, does that not help? Is that bad? Am I making things worse if I do that? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not, I'm not entirely disgusted at the thought of that, but I mean, everything else is still blue. That's kind of cool. Variable string equals string, but split. So if I'm iterating through string, I'd be, everything seems bad. Now, um, let's just focus on the for loop. Do, 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 uh, Fletcher summed it up. Has nothing to do with being on the same line, e.g. you could call something like for each on the resulting array to iterate through it. Uh, this can be solved in one line of code. Good, good. Try it, see what happens. Split into array. Map over each word. God, I need to learn how to do map. Regular expressions and maps. My to-do list keeps growing. I still need to set up the friggin' Discord link in my Twitch profile thing. That's been on my to-do list for like 175 days now. I need to set up that. I need to set up the free Code Camp account because we're supposed to be doing free Code Camp and Code Wars in tandem. And we've just we've gotten hooked on Code Wars. Code Wars has been super awesome. Um, and there's a smattering of other things that we need to tackle, but anyways, uh, ah, and, and learning regular expressions, because that seems to be everyone's go-to answer here on Code Wars, at least for everything that I've tackled so far, and then something about maps. I don't know what the hell, I mean, I know like a physical map, but that's, that's not what we're talking about, so, yeah, uh, for a loop, time to get loopy. Copy this string again and paste. That seems disappointing. That's that's what I'm thinking. And then return something at some point, I guess. Return string. Fuck, dude, I don't know. Who gave me the keys to do this? This is bad. This is... This should not be allowed. Well, we got a different error code. Usually I feel good when we get a different error code, but this one seems extra concerning. Cannot read property split of undefined. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, what do we get rid of the variable? Oh, oh, and again, just because we're confused, different error, bad times. Map over, maybe I can, I can Google map, maybe, maybe we learn to map really quick. Let's close out all this nonsense. Uh, JavaScript map. This is going to get ugly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Topher, you need to refer to the string as the keyword this. Oh, wow, I haven't had to use this since they mentioned this in Code Academy, which was, I don't know, 80 plus days ago? I really should have not learned all 75 languages at Code Academy. 
Maybe that did more damage than good. So this, uh, this split. Hey, it's purple. That means it's happy. Good, good. So this character, before we go map hunting, I'm still going to be happy with that result. Oh, 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 wait, 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 return. Yeah, no, this is, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, Marvin joke one, JS is full with this, at least when I do classes in JS. Ah, uh, yes, however... Up until we've gotten to Code Wars, we were spending the first 159 days at Code Academy. And at Code Academy, we got to go through everything. They had HTML, JavaScript, SAS, making a website, command line, deploying a website, Git, which was fun, Python. So JavaScript happened about here. I know there's this kind of referenced in a smattering of other things, especially the many forms of JavaScript, jQuery, React, and Angular. So, like, there was a lot, especially, there was no this in SQL, at least when I was doing it, and PHP and all that good stuff and all the other classes and languages. So, yeah, I, I haven't been doing JavaScript for the last 176 days. And also, to, to note... Uh, we've only recently started Code Wars, which has been focused primarily on JavaScript, which is good, because we need the focus uh, on one specific language. So we are honing our JavaScript skills. Once we make it, I don't know, maybe a level one, maybe that's a bit excessive, and we'll focus on something different language-wise. I don't really know, but that's... Uh, so really, even though this is day 176 of learning... This is really like day eight or nine of Code Wars. Thus, the cat light scripts, programs, bits of code that I've got here, it's not pretty. Not pretty one bit. But we are learning. Uh, I don't think return this is correct at all. Good, good time. So, mapping. Dot map. If was a map in JavaScript. What would that mean to me? <laughs> All right, well, that's a small little example. We've got numbers 1, 5, 10, and 15, double. Numbers.map function x. Return x times 2. Double is now 2, 10, 20, and 30. That makes sense. But numbers is still 1, 5, 10, and 15. Number roots, numbers.math, math.square root. Roots is now 1, 2, and 3. And numbers is still 1, 4, and 9. Well, that's really cool. So I have to, so I set up a separate smaller function elsewhere? I think that's what's happening. This right here seems to be the magic of map. New map, iterable. Hmm, perhaps. Uh, met, met, oh god, why am I so bad with usernames? Met, tin, tintus, met, me, Tentis. Captain M. We really need to find a better default code name than Captain, whatever the first letter is, but we'll get there. Don't bother with this or map for your first solve. You're just going to needlessly frustrate yourself. Solve it in one step at a time. Don't bother trying to be clever. Ha! We gave up on being clever 176 days ago. This, my friend, is simply staying alive. That's That's what we're doing. This is, this is not pretty at all, right? 
No, uh, uh-uh. I don't. I don't even love looking at this. Uh, not this specifically, but all of this. That's bad. Yeah. Uh, do 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 do. do. Kind of needs to use this here, or else couldn't access the string that needs to be split into a variable. He can save it as a new variable. Oh, I did have... I did have that weird variable before. But it was just that empty one, and it felt wrong and excessive. You know, this guy... Who remembers this guy? I do. He was sitting right here. Hey, maybe I can try with this now. Maybe that maybe that's better. I don't I, I actually think I'm making things worse. Yeah, that feels worse. That feels worse. Cause I think that's redundant. I don't think it's actually necessary. I think I'd either have the empty string with just that variable or this dot split. Pretty sure that's what would be going on. In a perfect world. That is definitely a different looking error. So we, we pissed someone off. So that could be good or bad. We'll get rid of it for now. So mapping. I We were kind of close to dot mapping something. Where would I put dot map though? Dot map would go... Topher. Yes. Let that equal this oh interesting variable string equals this and then this gets split that also makes sense for everything in string dot length, which is this. Now, interesting, would I keep it as this or would that convert uh would would uh let words equal this dot split? Oh, look at that. I kinda guessed right. How cool is that? That never happened. Oh well, I mean it rarely happens. What the hell was that, little kitty? What? Hey. Little kitty is directly below, not in my lap. She has not assumed the napping position like normal. She's just simply sprawled across the floor, lounging about. Although, we said her damn it name three times like Beetlejuice, and now she's on the frickin' desk. <laughs> There's fur everywhere. Will you do something with your life, furry cat? Yes, go go to the bed. Go, go, no, no, you are not going to right-click out of here. We have made too much bad progress for you to sabotage this. Holy hell. Fur everywhere. We're doing this. God, this must be painful to watch. <sighs> okay, okay. Words equals this dot split. With the space, you fucking furry goddamn abomination. Just watch your ankles, all right? You can lay on the desk. Get my headphone out of your colon. Jesus, cat. Watch where you lay down. <sighs> Gonna wind up with some ear infection now. Uh, okay, okay. Use map on the array that is created by the split. Okay, okay. So use... Use map on the array that's created by the split dot map. No, string dot map. That feels slightly better. Variable string equals this dot split. So that means I'd be able to do when you move your tail. That means I'd be able to do string dot map, which means I can do string dot length, and this can be string dot chart, and this would be something related to string or other. Okay, at least we're making 
at least we're making progress. Oh. Oh. There's, hold on, I read Topher's thing. Either use a for loop or map, but not both. Use what you're comfortable with. First, let words equals this dot split, double quote, space, yes, cool. Then words dot map, string dot map, check it each check. So I could have all of this noise on the map line. With, with respect to whatever the hell lives in here, I think it would clearly be function something or other. I kind of want to just take what they have. Right? Function something. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be x, but x is, that's a trusty variable. Map, function, whatever. Tap, function, whatever. Oh, Marvin joke. He, he also said, and in the map function x, you have to make it uppercase. Oh, God. The world just shattered around me. I, I, Marvin, I want to believe you, but I have the mental capacity of your average squirrel when when it comes to learning how to code i i'm concerned about the uppercase fiasco this is why i still have both it's not that i will run both but i've got both the the map potential and the for loop potential because life and mainly confusion don't mind me no this one, this one. How does this look? Oh, string dot character at is not a function. I can kind of live with that. Let's block out this noise. Yeah, da da, yeah, da da, yeah, da da, and. Okay, okay, this is another one. This is a different error. So string map function x, I, I know I need to do something with x. I need to, there's the curly braces that were mentioned. Like map dot function blah. Actually, this is a better example. This, something happening with curly stuff. So I need to tell it to, I think what Marvin was saying was uppercase. Like string little kitty, I swear to God, your tail keeps bowing up and down on the keyboard. To upper case, like if I weren't to stress about it, that's what I would put. But I'm not sure that's right. Also, I'd like to have a zero there, but I don't think they're gonna like that. That's this is this is what I would do. But there's a ninety three point. Six nine percent chance that I'm wrong. You have to make uppercase. X would represent a word in the array. If I put this whole abomination up here, will things work smoothly? Does not seem like it. Hmm. I think I ruined some. Oh, it well, it's not numbers. It would be string dot map, which I guess negates all of this nonsense. Uh, quick question: Which one's closer to being correct, line five or line nine? Line five closer to being right. Line nine closer to being right. Or, or 11, if that's, if I'm closer, I don't think I'm close with 11. I'll get rid of the, uh, 
the stuff to free the beast from 11. Five. I'm closest with five. Okay, so is it cool if I just kill all of this stuff? No, don't kill it yet, Steven. Don't pull the plug. We may need to salvage parts from this. Bless you. We may need to salvage parts from this wreck and this wreck to build a single successful escape pod. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're making things uppercase. Follow the pictures. This is this is what early humans did. They saw the cave paintings on the wall, and, and they just kind of, you know, monkey see, monkey do, and repeated it. If I was a map, variable equals something, numbers dot blah. So maybe I need to make it a new variable. I don't want to make it a new variable. I don't think a new variable is needed. But following the monkey see monkey do paradigm, this is this is what it be. Variable new string. Looks messy. Uh do, do, do. I would do something like that. Paste bin, not tested. Ups. The this has to be X in the maps function. I think I can piece together what you're saying. Variable string equals this dot split. Well, I'm glad I at least made it this far. Cool. Hey, new array. I just stumbled across. Okay. So we do make it a new variable. Variable new string. I can pick a better name. I guess not everyone names their newborn baby. Baby. That'd be like naming your child after its social security number. I guess this is a little too literal of a name, but we'll find something clever. Um, so new array... Maybe we call it new array. New string is fine. Focus. Equals string dot map. Function X. Return. Oh, and all the cool character stuff comes after down here. Character at zero. Two uppercase. D da dee dee da dee da dee. Die da die die da die da dee. Yeah, da 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 do do be da 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 kaboom. Uh huh, uh huh. Uppercase plus this slice one. Fun question: What is the slice one? I I feel like I saw a slice one just moments ago. Oh, it was for all the uppercase nonsense. Upper. And it told us to do slice things. Uh, why would this not work? Return dot map word to word zero to uppercase dot join. I like that too. That seems way more streamlined. I'm gonna have to try both. There was a slice thing floating around, guys. I'm telling you I saw it. I wasn't envisioning it. Maybe I was envisioning it. We're sitting here in this hot room. The window's closed. We got the fan on. Aha! Slice! This guy. What the deuce does Slice do? Maybe I have to Google Slice. Also untested. Marvin, you return a new string for every string in the array in which you make the first uppercase plus everything 
after the first character. Oh, that's what Slice is. Because Zero is the beginning in the array. Well, uh, not necessarily the array. Well, we're learning each word for it. You know what I mean. I know what I mean. I guess that's the most important one if, is if I understand. But uh, one would be the next bit of the word. So if, if we were looking at this as a phrase, uh, T would be zero and O would be one. Come on, highlighter. O would be one and on. So that's where the slicing, it stops from there. Plus slice. See, now I'm happy to use it. Now I understand it. I know I can just Google. I'm pretty sure like this. All all activities, I'm sure I can find the answer to immediately. I'd prefer to only use the cool solutions if I understand them. Like that. That makes sense now. So that's cool. I feel better about using it. I have tip to users and, and, and people uh, for all the explanations and guidance. So there's that. Now, lastly, was joining stuff below. We've got the join stuff here. And this would be... We can get rid of all this. And I think, instead of returning that, copy... Oh, and it's not string. It's not string. It's new string. New string. What an awful name. New string. Okay. I think, wow, that is a lot of semicolons. There we go. There we go. I think, roughly, what's happening? Return to split up. Oh, oh no, I, I scrolled through something. Good point. In the map function x, we need to change string to C. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In the map function X. You need to change string to C. And string to x. x works. Why was I turning him into c? Ah, oh, string to x. String to x. There we go. str to x and string to x. My bad. My bad. One of those fun keyboard things. Look at that. Yes, yes, because as we all know, except for me, that X lives there right next to, right next to C. Good times. As a reminder, chat is on my phone, still dealing with a single monitor. Welcome to my hell. Um, so there's that. So that's sorted out. Topher Gates, return this dot split dot map word arrow thingy word zero dot uppercase plus word dot slice one dot join interesting so that's what that would look like i think visually for me the breakdown of the three is is where it's at so let's give this a run actually no there's there's issues i think Yeah, okay, there's there's this nonsense. I think it's just join. Uh Tover. Okay, everyone's seeing the same thing, all my failures before I do. Awesome. Uh don't need the string. Of course you could make this fancy all in one line, but readability is something important to me. Interesting. Uh aside, well, yeah, I mean readability is good. It also does since I'm still learning, seeing all the fun stuff. I do like the split thing though. It is helpful. The fact that I can look at each bit 
of the string that it's got the period like how it's broken down as far as one liners go for code the uh what are they methods i think are fairly legible so it is cool the breaking and you can see and that it happens in that process too so that that's fun um let's give this another shot run sample test uh-huh uh-huh we're close we're close expected how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real instead got an empty string i think maybe i confused it because i named my variable string here maybe i should call it something different i think i should name it I think this variable is conflicting with their test stuff. Like they've got string here, so I think that's throwing a loop. Uh, Topher, missing return inside map. Topher, you are good. Always on point. Damn. Okay, uh, return. So maybe, maybe I'm crazy. And yeah, no, everything's perfect. Okay, well, that's just a huge, huge hat tip to Marvin and Topher and Met, Met, uh, Met, Metennis, Met, Metentis. Sorry about the, uh, obliterating your username. And Fletcher King, and Fletcher King. Hat tip to Fletcher. And, and everyone else who put forth the team effort to drag my confused ass all the way to the finish line yet again. Good, good times. Go team. So that was the sample test. Now let's submit our official attempt. Holy hell, it worked. Do we read through some of these? I feel like after all that hell, we should at least indulge in, in the wonderful philosophy that is Jaden Smith. All right, from the top. I don't think we're going to do all of them. <laughs> but I should just stop tweeting. The human consciousness must raise before I speak my juvenile philosophy. If newborn babies could speak, they would be the most intelligent beings on the planet. Most trees are blue. Fixed habitats. Ah, fixed habits to respond to authority takes 12 years. Have fun. Sure. I watch Twilight every night. I think we're starting to, to sink in the philosophy now. Jonah Hill is a genius. When I die, then you will realize the moment that truth is organized, it becomes a lie. Ah, it becomes, yes, organized. It becomes a lie. Interesting. Trees are never sad. Look at them every once in a while. They're quite beautiful. I'm not sure what we're getting at. We are falling deeper in the pit. I think we can only handle about three more of these. When you live your whole life in a prison, freedom can be so dull. I sure. If there is breadwinners, there is bread losers. But you can't toast what isn't real. I kind of want to end on that one. That's a that's a tasty, tasty one. All right, we'll, we'll do one last more. Why are we highlighting everything? We need to stop teaching the youth about the past and encourage them to change the future. Good enough for me. Okay. Now, what's happening? By the way, what would happen if character at... Uh, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Uh, doing strings, missing. Yeah, that's it. By the way, what would happen if character at zero to uppercase is not alphabetic just return the same i i i don't even know how to think about that question you just asked i'm i'm that guy so tover quote dying is mainstream is that really one of them in here wow you're right i think we're gonna push through we 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 made it this far we might as well just finish this right this is what we we earned it Okay, uh, something about the future, yeah, in the past. School is the tool for brainwash, uh, school is the tool to brainwash the youth. All the rules in this world were made by someone 
no smarter than you, so make your own. Water in the eyes and alcohol in the eye. Water in the eyes and alcohol in the eyes are pretty much the same. I know this from firsthand experience. Three men, six options. Don't choose. That that must have been reference to some event. Dying is main scream. Dear God. People tell me to smile. I tell them the lack of emotion in my face doesn't mean I'm unhappy. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? You can discover everything you need to know about everything by looking at your hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can discover everything you need to know about everything by looking at your hands. I'll need to try that later, I suppose. Pay attention to the number. Pay attention to the numbers in your life. They are vastly important. If a bookstore never runs out of a certain book, does that mean that nobody reads it or everybody reads it? Both? I'm going to go with both. Schrodinger's cat. Don't go in the bookstore. That's my response to that. If a bookstore never runs out of a certain... Uh, no, oh god, we're living. Holy shit, we're trapped in the bookstore. This is how it ends. Young Jaden, here's the deal. For every time out you give me, you'll give me $15 for therapy when I get older. Dear God. If everybody in the world dropped out of school, we'd have a much more intelligent society. I suppose... There'd be a lot more people walking around to clean the beaches. That could be good in state parks. So, you know, teach his own. All right, we made it through all the wonderful words Jaden had to offer. Now, we were looking at the last, last couple bits. I did want to... <laughs> Topher... <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Dear God. We'll leave your gravity jokes for the, the comment section alone. Twitch will archive it. Everyone watching can just check the chat on the Twitch archives. Okay, from here, something about something, a character at zero. I'm not even going to tinker with character at zero. I'm not cool enough to figure out that nightmare. Okay, so we are submitting our final. Let's see where we stand stat-wise as we conclude day 176. <sighs> we'll see what happens tomorrow. I, I'm hopeful I can start. I need to start free code camp. I also need to read up regular expressions for JavaScript. Both of those would definitely help. So, the cool kids had a day. Spring dot prototype Jaden function. Return this split. Map function word. Return, return word. Character at zero. Two uppercase. Word slice one. Followed by join. Interesting. So, that's basically what we had. Minus the, uh... No, we did have prototype. We had string prototype Jaden. You know what it was, though? I had an additional variable set up. I had the variable set up for this and created the new one. That was the difference. Okay. So, with that said... Okay, now we're getting to every everyone who is far more clever than I am. With their single-lined fixes. Prototype, return this, replace... What, there's a carrot. There is a, there's a thing pointing up. I don't know what that means. And there's a, a vertical line. These are, these look like the old codes for the combinations and like Mortal Kombat or Tekken. You know, left, left, up, down, A, B, R, up, down, up, down, like all that. That's what this looks like. This is just noise. One thing after another. I know the G stands for global. At least that much. And it's doing something A through Z. But that's that's just a lot to take in when you're when you're new to the this whole thing. 
Capitalize first letter string. Now that, that's a label. Very straightforward. Not a lot of creativity to that one. Return this again. Secrets from the past. This is what they found on the cave paintings and walls. Was just markings about confusion. Okay, good times. Everyone had either the single line answer or the multi. This one, wow, this is this is what I had. Variable something, split, with a for loop, that sliced on one, and then return words and join. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth. Although this, this was kind of similar. We'll call it third and a half place in general. So good, good overall. Let's view the profile. Let's close out of all this noise. Yes, yes, we are destroying these tabs coming into my neighborhood. That's what they thought. 34% of the way through level 7. And 95,000. That's, that's 3,000 up from yesterday. Take that. Pretty cool. Let's go to home. Thank you again. So, hold on. What's going on, Marvin? Ah, I just woke up and you go. Feels bad. I know. I know. Somewhat soul crushing. Probably not, though. Hopefully not that soul crushing because this has got to be painful to watch. This is, again, it's like trying to, trying to give a cat commands via smoke signals. I always feel awful for the viewers having to assist some crazy person who doesn't know what's going on. Anyways, that's what we were getting to, is thank you to everyone who stopped by to view the stream and especially assist. Uh, hat tip to Topher, Fletcher King, uh, Met, Met, Metenis, Metentis, uh, Bagnala, sure, uh, Marvin Joke 1, and did anyone else slip into chat that we didn't notice that commented? I don't think so. Uh, and also, thank you to any and all viewers who may have accidentally stumbled in here. Any and all views are greatly, greatly appreciated. In the meantime, we are paring down the stream. The adventure continues tomorrow with day 177 of the year of streaming and learning to code, but in the meantime, we are stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!